how did it feel to be able to at least raise some funds for the the family members? It felt it felt awesome because you know I'm eight, you know 85 miles away from Uvalde here in San Antonio, and you know I lived there uh, for many years and worked there in that community. My kids go there, and my kids went to school there, and they graduated from school there, and uh, you know I felt like it was just I had to do something to help out the community and the victims and those poor innocent kids that lost their lives and just needed to find a way to get back to the, their families in the community some way or another. Yeah, we're seeing their young faces and pictures there. It's just so sad and heartbreaking. And I know you do have these deep connections to the community. Talk about what it's like there. It's a small town. It's a close-knit community. What, what has been your experience there? It, you know, it's like small town USA. You know, every, uh, for festivals, everybody gets together. Uh, everybody shops in the same in this grocery store, goes, goes to the same uh, churches, festivals. You know, it's just a good old small town, you know, everybody barbecues on the weekends, very friendly. Um, that, that, you know, I'm from San Antonio originally, and when I moved there, I didn't, and I didn't think I was going to really like the town, and that town grew on me just because that small town country feeling, and uh, just everybody knows each other there, and it's just it's a great town to live in and raise a family. You know, those small towns, it really is the people who make it. Yes. How old are your grandchildren? Um, got one that's two years old, three years old, and four years old. And all, all my grandsons live there. So it's got to make you think about when they go to school, you know, every time they go to school when they get to that age. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if my, my, ki if my grandkids were in, uh, in that, that uh, school when that situation happened, I'd be devastated, you know. And as it is, I'm devastated just because, you know, I have a lot of friends that had kids that were going to that school. And um, I actually have a few friends on Facebook um, that lost their kid, in that, uh, their kid in that classroom. So... Yeah, it, it hits home pretty bad. And I know you're going to be there for a visit. Are you nervous about how you're going to feel when you get there and the emotions? Oh, absolutely. You know, it's uh, it's gonna. I'm pretty sure I get I get teary eyed. I'll get teary eyed a little bit. Um, you know, um, my kids were there when an incident happened. They were calling me and they were just really devastated and freaking out. And, you know, emotional about the whole situation. So, I know I'm pretty gonna I'm gonna, gonna get emotional because, like I said, I lived there and worked there for many years and it's 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 going to hit home what was your reaction i mean how did you find out that this all went down to take well, us through those moments <clears throat> i was at work actually when i found out it happened and uh, i was you know getting updates through my my kids that were there at the time and um i have friends that live you know that still live there and i was uh trying to get updates from them and uh ironically my son-in-law's my son-in-law's sister was at the school when they were evacuating the kids and trying to take them to another shelter uh, when all this was going on. And I just, I couldn't believe what was going on at the time. I said, no, this, this is not happening. And um, yeah, it was pretty tough. Yeah, it's, it's just unspeakable. Um, I'm glad that, you know, your family's okay. Our thoughts are with your friend. Um, and, and it's a great thing you're doing, helping out the community. Good luck on your visit back and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.